Hi, my name is Dave Webb from Venture Caravans and I've come in here today into the Pegasus GT65 to show you the new Whale Intelligent Control Unit for heating and water heating. The first thing you'll need to do is locate this item down here. If you can see this yellow switch, that's your drain down valve for the water heating system. If it's in the up position it's open and you can hear the water draining down. If it's in the down position, horizontal, it's closed and that's in the usable position. If you have this in the down position it will prevent any water draining down. You need to do this before activating your water pump. Now we come over to the whale control panel and we need to turn the water pump on. We do this by pressing the left hand bottom button. It will show up red to show it's been turned on. If the water pump is running, the line above it will also show up red. So what we need to do now is go over to the taps and run those and bring the water through. Starting with the cold tap first, literally bring that through until you get a steady stream, like so. Then do the same with the hot water as well until you get a steady stream. Now I've primed this already, but usually you would get quite a lot of air pushed through the system as the hot water tank fills up. But when it comes through in a constant stream, you know that's full and ready to use. The next thing we need to do is go back to the control panel. Here you have Wales Intelligent Control Panel. Um, first thing we need to do is to turn the water pump on. We do it by this pressing this bottom left hand button until it goes red. That means the pump's on. If the pump's running, the line above will line up will show up red as well. If we then want to turn the heating on, we press this left hand button. You've got various options in here. Um, at the moment you can see it's in the off position. We have 2000 watts of power on electric, 1000 or 500. Then you have a low gas setting and a high gas setting. This will automatically turn the gas the, the system on for a heating and then we choose our temperature that we wish the caravan to be on the left and the right hand buttons which are minus and plus buttons. If we press this button here we then go back to the control panel home page and we can go to the water heater system. In there we can choose that we want 750 watts of water heating power or we can boost that using these two left hand controls sorry the two right hand controls even there's one for 1500 watts and there's also a gas one this will give us 15 minutes of boost at the moment I've got it set to both of them if I wanted just gas I would turn it to just gas if I wanted electric only I would turn the gas one off and this is just a boost after 15 minutes it will revert back to the setting that you've had it on previously which would be that one. again I can press this bottom button to return us to the home page if you notice, as I'm going back into the settings, it tells you that the temperature for the caravan heated water is 71 degrees C. It also tells you that we've got it on 750 watts. So all the time you're turning these buttons on and coming back to the home page, it's updating this home page with actually your settings that are in use at the current time. If I use this button, I can set the timer. Um, or I can start the timer. So this will be timed hot water and timed heating, if you've set that up. To set it up you'd go into your settings section using that bottom spanner button and you notice there it's got user, room timer, water timer. So that's the room heater and the water heater. You can also set your clock and there's various other options from there. Press this middle button again to go back. You've also got 13.1 volts that's listed as the battery's condition. And that's your water heating and heating system by whale.